Well, hello everybody and welcome to All Trade Bait All the Time. Today's topic, I went to an induction for the Shrine of the Eternals and an autograph convention broke out. And not in a good way. First of all, let me explain to those of you who don't know what the Shrine of the Eternals is. It's been frequently referred to as the People's Hall of Fame. And I agree with the take. What they mean by peoples is partly based on the fact that people, fans, baseball aficionados and baseball lovers vote on who will be inducted into the shrine. It's not only about statistics, numbers, and the greatest athletic endeavors like the Baseball Hall of Fame. It's called the People's Hall of Fame because it's full of the people that made and make the game what it is today. In the Shrine of the Eternals, yes, you will find baseball players. But you'll also find announcers, historians, authors, just plain old fans, people who love the game, people who made the game colorful, and people who bring the game and brought the game to life beyond just the statistics. The Shrine of the Eternals is uh, housed, shall we say, at the Baseball Reliquary, which is housed at the Institute for Baseball Studies, which can be found at Whittier College out here in California. The baseball reliquary is the brainchild of Terry Cannon, the executive director of the reliquary. Now, uh, if you want to know more about the uh, baseball reliquary and the Shrine of the Eternals, uh, I'll drop a link down below for the reliquary and for the Institute for Baseball Studies. Do some reading, check it out. If you're here in California, head on over to Whittier College and check out the Institute. It's great. And Terry is just the most magnificent ambassador for people who love baseball. He's a wonderful person. He's a great guy to know. All right. Now, all of that said, last Sunday was the 20th, 20th induction ceremony for the Shrine of the Eternals. Here's the program for that day. Let's have a look see here. All right. So there we go. <clears throat> and this past Sunday, the inductees were uh, Nancy Faust, Rusty Staub, and Tommy John. Uh, you know, the reason why I go to these, this is the big celebration, right? The induction, just like the Baseball Hall of Fame, the yearly induction for the Shrine of the Eternals is the big shindig, the big to-do, the annual for the Baseball Reliquary. And I haven't been to 20, no I haven't, but I have been to the past four. And I intend to make every one an annual trip for myself because it's just such a wonderful day uh, and a wonderful opportunity to get to know these people that sometimes I knew nothing about and to see the other side of some of those people who I thought I knew about. <clears throat> and I also learned, just to, as an aside, uh, what a wonderful personality Tommy John is. I grew up watching Tommy John pitch 
and only knew him as a, the athlete on the field. And Tommy John gave his ex acceptance speech for being inducted into the hall. And it was great to hear him uh, so vibrant, so funny, so witty. I mean, even if that guy had prepared a prepared statement that was full of jokes, he was witty enough to just bring more humor off the cuff. So that was great. Uh, if you'd like to hear the speeches of the inductees, uh, I put them out on my Twitter feed. I tweeted them live the day of the induction, and you can find them in my Twitter feed. My Twitter is OM Sports 42 at at OM Sports 42. Uh, dig them up in the archive of my timeline and give those speeches a listen. Uh, they, they were great. <clears throat> now, getting to what I originally was going to speak about today was, yeah, I went to the induction, and you know what? Part of the fun of going out to the induction ceremony is, yes, getting s autographs from the inductees and getting a free autograph um, you know that's part of the fun right why not uh, I'll show you right here for example what what I picked up that day I always have uh, at least one of the inductees autograph my program it's not a big deal it's not so that I can turn it over and sell it on eBay it's for my own personal memories and uh, you know of course I'm a collector, so I enjoy having the autographs. Here we have the San Diego chicken, who was also a very pleasant surprise that day. And I'll speak a little bit more about the chicken in a minute. And Tommy John, Tommy John's autograph. Now, one thing about uh, Tommy John that he mentioned in his uh, induction auto in his induction speech was he spoke about, you know, he may not get to sign autographs that say Tommy John H O F for Hall of Fame but now he can sign autographs Tommy John S O E and we all had a good chuckle at that and earlier I had Tommy John sign my program as I usually have the athletes do and I thought about what he said from his speech and I went back to him and he was kind enough which also I'm going to talk a, a bit about in a second. He was kind enough. I asked him if he would write S-O-E. And he added the dash for class of 18, S-O-E, Shrine of Eternals. How cool is that? How unique is that? And that's for me, for my personal collection, which is what I want to get to uh, and something that I have just a bit of a gripe about. That day, uh, you know, as I said, uh, it's always been understood that the athletes are going to sign a few autographs that day and everybody's having a nice time with that. But this time, I saw the most incredible autograph frenzy. I wouldn't exactly call it a, 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 a frenzy where people were pushing and shoving. They were orderly lines, but I have never seen lines autograph lines like I saw this past Sunday and that's perfectly fine right that would be great if they signed an autograph for everybody in the audience why not as I said it's kind of understood that that might happen but here's the thing people weren't in line just to get a personal autograph for themselves there were people who clearly were getting autographs en masse, getting autographs in bulk. And that just rubbed me the wrong way. You could see, I saw people in line. You could see people with stacks of cards. There was one person who had 10 baseball cards for Tommy John to sign. There were people that were just had binders, entire binders of pages with cards for the athletes to sign. 
there was a guy for the San Diego chicken. There was a guy who must have had the chicken sign 16 or 18 autographs because he had San Diego chicken cards on a couple of pages of a binder. I couldn't believe it. Clearly, how many do you need, right, for your personal? Sure, get one for you and one for a friend. Get one for you and your couple of your kids. But 18, a stack of 10 cards, and those weren't the only people. Somehow, word got out, word spread, it's social media world, that this is a way to get autographs on the free and people took advantage. They grabbed everything they could, stacks of it, pages of it, and brought it in for people to sign. Now, uh, on the other side of things, Tommy John and the chicken, the San Diego chicken, were so nice, which is another thing I like about the reliquary. Everybody connected to the reliquary seems to be such a nice person and including these celebrities that day they were so nice that they didn't turn down a single request come to Tommy John with a handful of cards he signed them all with a smile and didn't worry and signed autographs for everybody that wanted one bring 20 cards to San Diego chicken so that you can hawk them later and make a buck the chicken didn't mind and he was super friendly so great such a wonderful personality and a friendly person chicken that he happily signed for everybody took pictures with everybody and took time for everybody as much time as they wanted and there were these autograph hounds that were just taking advantage just sucking up the time for everybody else and turning it into a, their own commercial venture for later on to flip things on eBay. Now, you know, I don't want the reliquary to stop uh, allowing autographs for people because it does add to the charm of the day and it's a nice memory to take home and have as the years go by but I don't know Terry may have to think about something some way somehow to let folks know one autograph per person maybe that won't happen next year but it was out of hand this year it grinded my gears and it really put a kink in what was a wonderful day and it just took advantage of those very friendly people Tommy John and the chicken it took advantage of them just so that people could run out and sell them and make money later autograph hounds you know just go and pay your 25 bucks a, a signature or whatever it is and pay for it if if your whole idea is to make money and deal with it like money but otherwise I sure hope next year that at the Shrine of the Eternals it's gonna be one auto per person and we're not gonna see any more of these autograph hounds taking advantage of, of wonderful personalities like Tommy John and the chicken alright that's my take uh, don't forget Baseball Reliquary. It's out at the Institute of Baseball Studies in Whittier, California. Stop by and tell Terry I said hey. All right. Peace.